The five international peacekeepers, two Germans and three Danes, were killed here at this munitions collection point, about three miles east of Kabul. The soldiers died as they were attempting to destroy two Russian-made ground-to-air missiles in a controlled explosion. Another five German and three Danish peacekeepers were injured in the blast. The area where the explosion occurred has been cordoned off, and Danish and German forensic specialists are due to survey the site on Friday. Outside the German military's base in the Afghan capital, the flags were flying at half-mast. German peacekeepers will hold a minute's silence here in honor of the soldiers who died. The deaths were the first in the International Security Assistance Force. On Wednesday, the day the soldiers died, ISAF troops and locals took part in a demining operation. A team of British and French soldiers supervised the demining on the road between Kabul and Bagram. Some mines were found along the roadside, although a search of a bridge turned up nothing. Yeah, just uh, looking at the bridge, uh, there was a report that there could have been possibly some, some mines. However, we, we find nothing. Although Afghanistan's Taliban rulers have been ousted, the weapons they've left behind continue to pose a very real danger to peacekeeping troops.